And we could also, we could donate our own time. We could volunteer, we could help out, right? We can't help Okay, thank you very much. This is the kind of experience that when you're, when you're in a day school that talks about chesed and acts of kindness, it just evolves into a lifelong journey of being successful as an adult and giving back to the community. Oh, this is good. We're teaching kids the positive character traits of giving over and of helping out because it's so much of a fabric of who we are as Jews and what we believe in as an institution. I think volunteering is important because it teaches us that we can do so much more other than studying and taking tests. It's not all about you, it's about helping other people. I think every single person can make a difference because whatever a person does, they're filling a need that needs to be met. And the community is so much greater and enriched by these people doing their small part. It's such a great feeling to give back to a place that you have so much hakar satov gratitude toward. There's always something that you can do. It doesn't matter how much time you could give. It's being part of the family of giving, of doing, of making Hillel a better place. Where does the non-kosher stuff go? Like uplifting and inspiring when you do something for other people and it sort of warms your heart. Thank you so much. The students at Hillel are committed to doing volunteer activities and I think this serves to create a better Jewish community in Pittsburgh. In Hillel we're always looking to create a community where our students feel and are inculcated with the values of being givers. Our younger students goes on trips to Lineberg Terrace to sing songs because we really want to teach them the importance of giving. To sort of see, to set the, a good dogma, a good example, and hopefully it's one that they'll emulate when they're older and also always be, be givers. Here we go. My friend Rabbit means well. My name is Sid Silverman, and I've been a volunteer here for over 15 years. The rabbit was able to get the airplane free of the tree, and off went the airplane into the air. I come here every Thursday and read to preschoolers, and uh, we both have a good time. They enjoy the stories, and I enjoy being with the kids. So that's, that's a story about the rabbit and the mouse. Volunteers play an integral role to our school, whether it's a small program, such as reading stories to children, or helping out with a larger scale program, such as our Rosh Chodesh lunch program. It, it really adds to the spirit of what we're trying to accomplish here. My name is Leah Milch, and I've been part of the Hill Academy family for close to 25 years. Today is Yom Ha'atzma'ut, the Israeli Independence Day, and Rosh Chodesh Iyar we push off every year and we do a lunch on Yom Ha'atzma'ut. There are so many programs that are run at Hill Academy that don't take money but take time and planning. Even if you don't give a penny, you can give your time and that's so valuable. When you give your time, especially to students, they're seeing that and you help reinforce everything that we're trying to do educationally as an institution. You know, there's an aspect of our education uh, here about doing community service and volunteer work throughout the community. It's uh, especially prominent in the high schools um, where they go out and do chesed work. It becomes part of their essence. Today we are coming and we're visiting the people here and we're playing a balloon game with them. I get happiness because they're happy and I can see how much we affect their day and it makes my day so much more meaningful. I, I enjoy the experience. It makes me feel really nice to see the smile on everybody else's face. The girls in particular have become very close over the years with one of our residents whose name is Phyllis. Phyllis is a woman who never married, had no children, and the girls brought a feeling of Yiddishkeit and a love, and Phyllis felt very, very special. 
So every time that we went back, I made sure to go see her. And uh, she remembered me and we talked and she was really great. And it was really, I think we both really benefited from that relationship. Recently, Phyllis passed away and we told the girls and the girls wrote some beautiful words in her honor and in her memory, which is really the nature of volunteering. It's passing things forward, giving all the good things that we've been fortunate to have and passing them along. So it's a beautiful lesson for everybody and we're, I'm, I feel very lucky to be involved in it. Volunteers are, are the fuel in the engine. They allow our agencies, Hillel Academy specifically, to function at a high level to get much more done than we can just with the professionals alone. And I would say what's really special in Pittsburgh is that relationship between the professionals and the volunteers. It's a true partnership. The Federation has worked very closely with Hillel over the years. Hillel is bursting at the seams and they're doing wonderful things. I think when you're a volunteer, it's an opportunity to actually interact with the folks involved with the organization and to know in your heart that you are doing something personally to help the organization. People might not see it when they're in the middle of doing something as a volunteer, but that little action along with the actions of so many other volunteers, together and collectively, have a huge impact. So this month's uh, Nida, what we're talking about is going to be called Nidiv, giving. Giving over ourselves, giving our time. Oh, I always enjoy coming to Hillel. Everybody is so vested in the community and I feel great joy when I come and when I leave the building. It's a wonderful place. So what I do every day at work is I try to perform a mitzvah. I try to give tzedakah. I, I think it's really important for kids to see what they should be contributing, how they should be building their communities in the future. I would like to see my kids volunteering in whatever the way they choose and they're learning that lesson now at a really early age and they're proud of it. Every day, just like you give Sadaka and you do mitzvahs at home, you do a mitzvah that makes Pittsburgh a better place where you all want to live. Sarah, what type of volunteer work do you do in the community? I, I clean up my house so nicely with, without asking. <gasps> That's great. Clean up the kitchen. Clean up the kitchen? Wow. And set the table. You set the table? For dinner. I clean up my room without my mother asking. Um, I clean up my room and wash the dishes. I like to help my parents by getting um, my baby brother diapers. Help my parents bring envelopes to people. Have you ever done any volunteer work outside of your home? Yes. Really? What kind? Like at someone else's house. What did you do at someone else's house? Clean up their whole entire playroom. Go to one work terrace. Yeah, and what do you do there? Sing. You sing? Why is it important to do volunteer work? To help other people so you can make them happy. Because it helps other people. It makes people happy. You help people. How does it make you feel when you do volunteer work? It makes you proud of yourself. It makes me feel happy that I help my family. Good. I love to help my mom and dad. Right now we're at the Squirrel Hill Community Food Pantry and we're sorting apples to find the good ones from the bad ones and then we're delivering them. It's a responsibility a little bit because uh, as I'm part of this community and uh, I feel good that I'm able to help other people. One of the ways we measure our success is actually seeing have our students embodied and do they embody the character traits that we're trying to instill in them. And when we see them helping others, that's how we know we've really succeeded. We help volunteer, we get meals for, for elderly people, uh, we'll help them to take the trays and, uh, and empty it out. 
or we'll just sit down and we'll have a, a nice conversation with them, make them feel welcomed. It's a nice thing to do. Through goodness and through kindness, we're sort of emulating what God wants us to do, and we're being helpful, contributing people in society. And um, I think that's a great example to set for, for our children. The boys love the tree very, very much. Walk into the school. Take five minutes. If you can just absorb what's going on, what you'll get out of it, just by that five minutes alone, could change you for life. It's just an unimaginable to, to think that what Squirrel Hill or the Pittsburgh Jewish community would be like without, without uh, Hillel Academy. So give us the five minutes, come into the building, spend some time volunteering. It'll be a good experience for the school and for yourself.